15 years ago today, Lexington firefighter Lieutenant Brenda Cowan was shot and killed while responding to a domestic violence call. Today, leaders in the department say her legacy continues in each and every Lexington firefighter. LEX 18's Katherine Collins has that story. It's been 15 years since Lieutenant Brenda Cowan was killed as she served her community. Still, her memory is strong within the Lexington Fire Department. In fact, her photo is one of the first things new firefighters see when they enter this training center. A mentor, a friend, a permanent fixture of Lexington history. Like I said, when she starts smiling, regardless of what was going on, she made you smile. Lieutenant Brenda Cowan was the first African-American female firefighter in Lexington, something Battalion Chief Lee Hayden says she didn't talk much about. She was very humble about things, uh, so that wasn't something that she wanted to focus on. Hayden was devastated to learn of Cowan's death in 2004. He says the department has been missing her ever since. But if you didn't get the chance to work with her, he says you still knew who she was. You can't go without finding out who she was. And once you once you hear the stories and things, you know, told you, you realize what a what a loss we had because she was a great person, not just a great firefighter, but a great person. Cowan's legacy also continues through a fire camp for girls named in her honor. Covering the news in Lexington from the LEX 18 mobile newsroom. Back to you.